Abhidhamma teaching for beginners to practice. Lecture 3. Abhid means excellent, deep, profound, and subtle. Dharma means teaching of the Buddha, law of nature, and the realities. Abhidhamma is the Buddha's most excellent, deep, profound, and subtle teaching. It is an analytical teaching or an analysis of psychophysical matters. We have to know the two realities. One is ultimate realities, another one is conventional realities. Ultimate realities in Pali we call Paramatatissa. It is permanent and it really exists, is never changed in its intrinsic nature. There are four types, Seta, Setasika, Rupa and Nibbana. Seta is consciousness or awareness of the object. It has 89 consciousness in brief and 121 consciousness in extended method. It is like a clear water. So number two, Seta Sika, it is coloring the consciousness. It's called mental factors or mental qualities. It has 52 mental factors. For example, greed, anger, and delusion. They color the mind or consciousness, like green color, black color, red color, likewise. So look in this picture. There's a lady, the cat, and the baby. They are angry. The anger in this lady and anger in this cat and anger in this baby are the same. Even though the different beings, the intrinsic nature of anger is the same. It looks like this, anger, anger, anger. That's why it is permanent. It's never changed. Rupa, number three, it's we understand as matters. 28 matters, four main types we should know. There are four elements, fire, earth, water, and air elements. Nibbana is a state of eternal bliss or inner peace. We experience as objectlessness and formlessness. The second type of reality is conventional reality. It's we call in Pali the mudithissa. It is impermanent, it's conditional, it's changed when the form change. The concept is classified under it. Concept is a name or the label, such as a person, man, woman, kings, queens, like that. A place like United States of America, United Kingdom, Myanmar, Thailand, is changed. A things like car, clothes, house. So let me explain to you in this picture. Look at the ice. This is solid. When you heat it up, it's changed into the liquid. We call it water. When you heat the water, and then water vapor or steam we call it. So whenever the form change, name change, from ice to liquid, we call it water, and then become vapor, we call it steam. Likewise, look in this picture. There's a tree. When you chop it off, it's become wood. You don't call it a tree. And then you make it slides, and then you can use it as a fence. You don't call it as a wood. And then the wood, you use it for the house. We call it house. We don't call it as a wood. That is why conventional reality is not permanent. It's conditional. It changes the name when the form change. So let's try to remember the four ultimate realities. S in Myanmar language, se se te te yo nepa is paramata teya or ultimate reality. Paramatatissa, the Nama, combination of the mind, consciousness, and mental factors, and Rupa is matter and Nibbana. There are four ultimate reality. We call it Paramatatissa. Never change its intrinsic nature. It's permanent. So conventional reality is in Pali. The Mudithissa is Pinya, a concept. It change and conditional. 
Let's look in this chart. Four ultimate realities are consciousness, mental factors, matters, and the Nibbana. I will explain a little bit about this matter today in this lecture. 28 matters. Another 16 subtle matters I will explain to you later. So total 28 matters are classified into the matter aggregate. Let's go to the mind. 89 consciousness. There are E, E and T, B. Two each consciousness, eye consciousness. Two ear consciousness. Two hearing, consci hearing consciousness. Two nose consciousness. Two tongue and then body consciousnesses. How does it come? The eye contact with the visible objects. Here come the eye consciousness. There are two types. One is uh, wholesome, one is unwholesome. Likewise, ear and the sound, there's a contact. Hearing consciousness come. When you hear the good news, that is wholesome hearing consciousness. If you're hearing the bad news, somebody gossiping or talk bad things about you, when you hear it, and that day, you have a bad, unwholesome hearing consciousness arises in your mind. Likewise, nose and smell contact. There's a nose consciousness, wholesome and unwholesome. Taste, tongue, and the taste, touch. There's a taste or tongue consciousness. And then body and tangible contact. There's a body consciousness. Another one is five door adverting consciousness and two receiving consciousness and remaining 76 consciousness all together 89 consciousness. In brief, they are classified into the consciousness aggregate. 52 mental factors which colors the consciousness, color the mind. There are feeling is classified into feeling aggregate. Perception is perception aggregate. The the rest 50 we call volitional formation is classified under volitional formation aggregate. Nibbana is aggregate free. So when you look in this chart, there's a 12 bases. E, E, N, T, B, and sight, sound, smell, taste, touch, internal object and external object bases. 52 mental factors and Nibbana, they are classified under mental object base. 89 consciousness are classified under mind base. In that way, 12 bases. 18 elements are the same as a base, E, E, N, T, B elements, S, 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 T, T elements. And then mind object base and mind object elements, the same. But mind base, 89 consciousness are classified under one mind base but under elements there are seven elements eye consciousness element ear consciousness element nose consciousness elements likewise uh, tongue consciousness element body consciousness element five dot adverting and two receiving consciousness become mind element the remaining 76 consciousness we call it mind consciousness element mind element is in pali we call manoda when you learned about patana, you know mano da do. In the mind consciousness element, mano vinya na da in patana, and we will explain about it later. So there are four truths: suffering truths, the mudia tissa, dukkha tissa, origin truth is a, the mudia tissa. Cessation truth, Niyoda Tissa. Part truth is uh, Mega Tissa. So look into this picture. The matter is like a boat. Depending on the contact of the two internal and external matters, the consciousness and mental factor arises. So on the boat, 
The consciousness is uh, sitting in the very front. He is a leader. So who is controlling the consciousness? Mental factors, 52, feeling, perception, and 50 volitional formation mental factors are controlling the consciousness. In that way, we are staying every day here with the five aggregates, contact of I and visible objects, consciousness arises, being controlled by mental factors. In that way, you know, five aggregates in every moment. So this charts we have to know by heart. We will explain to you slowly, slowly, and at the end of the lecture you will know by heart. So there are quick explanation about matter, 28 matters. There's a sixth sense door, eye door, ear door, nose door, tongue door, body door, and then mind door. So eye has contact with the visible object, ear is for sound, nose is for smell, tongue is for taste, body is for touch, and then mind is for mental objects. So there are 28 types of matters. Abhidhamma enumerate 28 types of material phenomena, basically divided into two categories. One is four great elements of Mahabhuta, Mahabhuta, we call it. So there are, we know that, fire, earth, water, and air elements. For meditators, you should aware of that four elements when you meditate. Fire element, you will feel like heat sometimes and cold. And for earth element, you can feel sometimes softness, very hard, very rough or smooth feeling, heavy or light. So for air element, you can notice as a supporting or pushing, like vibrating and Supporting is like tense feeling, very aching pain, dull aching or sharp aching pains, you will feel it. The water elements, in cohesion, you don't see that much, but flowing like tears coming out and for nasal discharge, you will notice that. The m this is the four elements you can notice when you meditate. So there are 24 derivative material phenomena, we call it upada rupa. That is, five are internal objects, E, E, N, T, B. We call it patata yo in Burmese or Pali. In this external rupa object, they are S, 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 T, T, gosara yo in Pali. And material quality of the sex, femininity and then muscularity, female and male. Bawa yuk, we call it. There's heart base, heart rat yuk, heart base. And life faculty is material quality of life. This is important for survival of the matters. The nutritional matters, material quality of nutrition. When, when you eat, there's some part of the materiality formed by nutrition. So there's uh, the space uh, between the two, the small matters, small tiny matters, we call it elements of the space. Here is material quality of communication, like bodily communication, bodily intimation, kaya vinyat yo, and vocal intimation, wizi vinyat yo. And another one is material quality of mutability. You can notice as a light, soft adaptability. In Pali, we call it Vikaya Yo, Lahuta Yo, very light, and Mududa Yo, and Kaminyata Yo. And material quality of the characteristic, four characteristics, they are productivity, continuity, Decay and impermanence. So, in short, you can know muere, productivity, getting bigger, continuity, decay, aging, and then death. 
So upa tibe, leka na yo, impali upa saya yo, tantiti yo, zrata yo, anisata yo. So all that material phenomena are conditioned by karma, seta, udu, nutrition. That means udu means temperature. Kan se udu ahara are supporting the continuity of the So another inseparable Awi Neboga eight matters you should understand. Four great elements plus sight, smell, taste, nutrition. So today we will stop the lectures and next week we will talk about consciousness. Thank you for listening. Da do da do da.